Welcome to introduction to React number 17, where we statically site generate our Next.js application. It's really exciting. I'm Jack Harrington, at Jahar on Twitter, and this is Blue Collar Coder. So two videos ago, we converted our Create React application to Next.js, and we did the same kind of client-side rendering as we did before. Then in the last video, we ported to server-side rendering, and in this one, we are going to take our Pokemon detail page and statically generate every single route into an individual HTML file, which can then be subsequently uploaded to something like Amazon's S3 or GitHub Pages. And you'll get incredibly fast response time. And the best part of all, you don't have to monitor a server. Static site generation is super hot right now. I'm glad you're along to find, find out how to get this to work. Let's jump into the code. All right, so get server side prompts is not the only way to get data to the page in Next.js. Another variant is static generation. Let's go take a look over in our documentation and then look for get static paths. So static in Next.js feels a lot like server side rendering with the exception that there's now two functions as opposed to one. The get static paths which gets a manifest of all of the pages that need to be created, and then gets static props, which goes and gets the props for a particular page. So it's a two-phase thing. First, Next.js is going to call get static paths to go get the list of paths, and then it's going to call get static props on each one of those paths as it renders out the page. And the first thing I'm going to do is move Pokemon JSON into source. Now, the reason I'm going to do that is because static site generation happens at essentially build time. It's not at runtime. So we're not going to be running the server, and therefore we don't have the localhost 3000 slash Pokemon JSON to get to. So let's change out all these fetches to requires. And now the next thing to do is to go and get the static paths. So let's bring in the code for that. We are not going to have a fallback path. And what a fallback path is, is essentially, hey, if somebody does like slash Pokemon slash I don't know, then have a page that they can fall back onto, which is going to render something interesting. We're not going to have that. So we need to go and take all of those Pokemon and then map them and create a new object for each one where it's got params. And that params has the Pokemon ID converted to a string. And then down in get server side props, we're going to change that to get static props. And let's try it out. We'll hit refresh. And now the problem here is you no longer have a query, you've got params. So we'll just change query to params. And now it renders just fine. And let's go and fix up the home page. We're not going to go and handle Pokemon at all here. Now we'll just bring it into the store directly. Okay, let's take a look at the home page. And it works just fine. Okay, so how do we actually see all those .html files that are being created? Well, the first thing you need to do is first build it. And as you can see, it tells us right away it's generated 810 static pages. Woohoo! Turns out, I guess there's 810 Pokemon. Awesome. All right, but we still can't see it. It's somewhere around here. Actually, it's in the .next directory. So what we need to do next is, is create an export task. So we'll go and add that. And now we can do yarn export. It, that is created, and now that's created a directory called out. And from there, we can run a little server. So I'm going to say port equals 3000. And then run npx serve. And that's just a handy little node server that just runs in the current directory. Let's click on that. And there we go. Okay. So now let's click on one of those details. And wow, that was fast. In fact, how fast was it? Let's try it out on Lighthouse. Generate a report for that. 
and we get a 94% performance rank. Woohoo! Nice. But you know what? What we should really do is try and put this on GitHub. Because now everything, including the homepage, is essentially a static file. There's no server logic that's running for these pages. That MPX serve is just serving up static files. So let's head on over to GitHub and we're gonna go and create a new repository called Introduction to React Next.js. And now over in the Versal code, which there's a link to in the description, you can go to Examples and then GH Pages and that's an example, and that's an example Next.js app that exports to GitHub Pages. So the first thing we'll do is grab this Next.js config, and then create a file in our own project called next.config.js. Now we need to set the name correctly. So let's paste that in there for the asset prefix. There's also a base path which isn't in that example, but you need it anyway. And in that one, you leave off the trailing slash. Now over here in git ignore, you need to remove the out. And then we'll go and add in deploy. Let's take a look at our git status and add the everything. Then we'll commit it. And then we'll add our remote and push that to GitHub. I've got a little alias for pushing in Git called GGP, and that is from oh my ZSH. So now that's all pushed up. Now the next thing to do is call that yarn deploy. Now the next thing to do is call that yarn deploy that we copy and pasted in. And that's actually going to create a new branch called GH pages with the code. All right, looks like that's done. So let's take a look over on GitHub. And now we have a branch for GH pages that has basically just the HTML. Cool. Go over into settings, take a look. Looks like everything's set up. And we'll click on the link. Awesome. And now we've got our deployed to GitHub pages, Next.js static site generation Let's see how performant it is. Let's go back over to our detail page, bring up Lighthouse again, and see if we can match that 94% number. <laughs> 99, are you out of your mind? That is really good. Okay, so we've got our static pages up on GitHub. You don't have to run a server. You're not gonna get a pager duty request at 2 a.m. for the server falling over. It's no wonder why everybody's so excited about static nowadays. But I wanna hear what you think if you have questions or comments or thoughts, put those in the comment section down below. There's also the Discord server that you can sign up on. There's a link to that in the description, along with a link to our newsletter, which gets you access to these videos a day earlier than everyone else. Of course, feel free to like and share these videos with your friends, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, and to be notified anytime a new one of these videos comes out. But in the meantime, be happy, be healthy, and be safe.